Making a strategic new agent announcement post is an incredible opportunity to get your first clients for free, but unfortunately so many agents don't capitalize on this opportunity or do it at all. So in this video, I'm going to break down the five key things you need to include in a proper new agent announcement post and also at the end where to post it in order to get the most traffic. This has been proven by myself and the many agents that have actually written these for that have partnered with me at eXp and it makes a world of a difference when you break down the different key components I'm going to share with you in this video. So if you're a new agent and you either are just getting your license or just got your license, this is going to be one of the easiest ways to get your first clients. What's up guys, it's Mike Sherwood with eXp Realty. I train thousands of agents every year to scale their business, the of with social media and new agent announcement posts are an incredibly underutilized opportunity. So many people don't do it at all or they completely botch it because they don't tap into any opportunity. They give no context and essentially it just becomes a useless post. And that's not what I want to happen with you. So what I'm going to do first is break down the five key things you want to include in the new agent announcement post and then where to specifically post it in order to get the most tangible results from that exact post. Number one is going to be why you even decided to get into real estate and give context because without context, so many people make up their own assumptions of why somebody gets into real estate or entrepreneurship or business in general. But when it comes to real estate, knowing that the barrier to entry is very low, a lot of people make the assumption that you're getting into real estate because you couldn't make it elsewhere or, you know, your corporate job didn't work out or you couldn't get anything else. And that is generally speaking, usually not the case for many people, especially if you're driven and watching videos like this. And if you do get value from this, please just subscribe and it helps me out a lot. And I continue to put out new videos every week to help you scale as a new agent. But either which way, giving context is incredibly important. And this is something that I did. And when I gave context, the big thing for me is going back to my core values and where I want to go in life in terms of making an impact, changing lives and making sure that I'm becoming the best version of myself. And I found that within the confines of the corporate world with me being a past engineer, that I wasn't able to get compensated for my work ethic. I wasn't able to impact lives or make a difference or change people's lives. And I was just working for everybody else and doing what they were telling me to. So when you're making the announcement post, it's really important to give context as to why you got into real estate. What are your goals? What are your missions? What are you trying to achieve? What made this decision and why you decided to get into the industry in the first place? So giving context to that and think about this for a minute, but that's ultimately going to give people a reason so that they can't make up their own assumptions. And it paints a bit of a story because maybe you love to get into investing. Maybe you love the feeling of being able to impact people and give better quality service. For me, one of the reasons why I got into the real estate, aside from wanting to develop the skill sets that you need to thrive in any business, which is marketing, branding, communication, and sales, was that I was in the process of buying my own personal house at 24 and the agents did a terrible job. So I realized, hey, there's a hole in the industry. There's a lot more to be said in terms of the quality of work that people can do, the marketing that can be done, the advertising that can be utilized, and nobody in my market was really doing it. So I saw a void and I knew that by getting my real estate license, my journey, my why within the industry was to fill that void. So by giving context to that, now it made sense to people as to why I left engineering to then get into real estate. Part number two is where you are going and why. And what I'm referring to here is the brokerage. It's really important to make sure that you leverage the brokerage that you choose in order to give additional context as to why you are going to be a value valuable asset to the people that are going to be following you and reading that post. For me, again, back when I got started, I joined a local office and I was talking about their sales stats and I was talking about their experience and different things like that. And now, you know, if you want to know more about partnering with us, you can feel free to click the link in the description and book a call with me. But a lot of the agents that are partnering with my group at eXp, the Wolfpack, are saying in their announcement post that they partnered with us at eXp in our specific group because of our marketing, our branding, our exposure, our mindset, and the ability to always get educated and get better training tools and resources to better serve the clients. So when you can explain with context why you chose a specific brokerage, number one, it's good to include the brokerage based on you know traditional market compliance, but also it allows you to provide additional context as to what you're going to be able to do above 
above and beyond other agents based on what that brokerage or what that partnership is recognized for. Number three is going to be diving a little bit deeper in terms of your mission and what it means to you. And to give that some additional context, this can be again, looking at my mission was knowing that there was a huge void in terms of marketing, advertising, and branding within the real estate space in my specific market. My mission was to increase the quality of the general standard within the real estate industry. I wanted to show what proper marketing looked like. I wanted to show what strategic advertising can look like. I wanted to truly show my market center what happens when you actually have skin in the game and don't just cut corners like many agents were doing, especially during a shifting market, but rather go above and beyond and give a high quality service no matter what the price point was. That's why I chose purple, luxury, branding. I wanted to provide a luxurious experience to every single client, whether it's a $150,000 condo, a $1.5 million property, or a $15 million luxury mansion. I've done all three of those and the same level of quality was given to all of them. And that was what helped me become recognized as a new agent, but I made that very clear in the announcement post so people knew what I was embarking on. And when people know the mission that you're embarking on, it actually allows them to connect deeper to that mission, which actually makes them feel like they're a part of it with you. And they also want to contribute to that mission and that journey. And ultimately, it oftentimes yields to people reaching out to you, asking how they can be a part of it, how they can be involved, and if they have anybody in mind that you might be able to work with. Number four is going to be your unique value proposition. Now, this is really important, and I'll get to one of the questions that you're all going to have, which is, again, looking at mine, mine was social media. That was a huge value proposition that I leveraged in the beginning because nobody in my market was properly leveraging social media, video content, and that was going to be what I was going to do is I was going to go above and beyond for listings with drone footage, with real twilight photos, and truly give the highest quality media experience to every single seller that I worked with. And on the buyer side, create again, another memorable experience by leveraging social media in various different ways to make them feel like they were on more of an experience when working with me. So social media happened to be my value proposition. And I had a multitude of different ways of kind of conveying that to the average person. But that's also why whenever I went to networking events and people asked what I did, I always responded with creative work in the real estate space. Not I'm a realtor. I'm a real estate agent. Creative work in the real estate space. Oh, what does that mean? I levered social media to get amplified exposure on clients' properties or help them find a property that's maybe not even on the market. And then that opened up dialogue. So by leveraging a unique value proposition, that was really strong. But again, the question you're going to have is that, well, Mike, if I'm a new agent, and I don't have any experience, how do I have a unique value proposition? Create it. And I even said social media and marketing and branding and advertising was my you know, unique value proposition before I did a single deal, before I worked with a single client. You speak it into existence, you share it with the world, and then when you uphold that standard and you actually follow through with it, that now becomes a unique value proposition. You don't have to have done it from day one. And if you do have experience, great. You probably or should know what it is right now. But just think, what is your skill set? What do you want to become recognized for? What are some of the voids in your market that you could tap into that other agents just simply aren't? Now, number five is going to be where should people reach out to you? Where should people follow you so that they can become a part of your journey? This is really important because again, if people read this and they want to get in touch with you, you want to give them an avenue to get in touch with you. So whether you want to include your cell number, your email, a website that you might have, any of your social media profiles that you're active on, because as a new agent, you should be active on things like Instagram and TikTok and Facebook and LinkedIn and YouTube. But all of these platforms should be included in that post so you could start to get some additional traction right off the jump. And this is a really great way to, again, also make it easy because convenient sells, making it convenient for people to reach out to you if they have any questions or if they know anybody looking to buy or sell and they come across your post. Now, the next part is going to be where the heck do you post this in order to get traffic? So there's two different avenues that we want to go down with this pose. One's going to be graphic and static and photo. One is going to be 
video. So starting with the one that is easier and more natural and comfortable to most people is going to be the graphic post or the photo post, which generally speaking should be a really high quality photo of you. My recommendation based on what I did is I went out and did a professional photo shoot before getting into the industry, before my license was active and I got it and the fingerprints came back and criminal check and all of that good stuff, but making sure that you get some high quality photos. Include that in the post because really high quality crisp photos usually stop people when they're scrolling and they're going to take the time to check it out. You want to post that photo on your Facebook page, your Instagram profile, and your LinkedIn profile, covering all the bases of all the social media static image profiles. Then what you want to do is take that same post and turn it into a video, both short form and long form. So when you look at the long form, it's basically taking what you would write and just turning it into a script. Maybe you want to add some additional context as to where you came and why you got into it and where you plan on going so people could become a part of that journey with that video. Usually again, you'd want to post it natively on your new YouTube channel. And if you want to know how to launch that, drop a comment below, I'll send you my free training, which breaks the entire YouTube process down as new agents who've done upwards of 87 deals from YouTube in their first year with no money spent. So if you want that, drop a comment, say free training and I'll give it to you. But making sure that you have that uploaded, natively upload that to Facebook. Facebook and natively upload that also to LinkedIn. And finally, my recommendation based on the mass organic engagement of short form content is to make a shorter version of it, just saying that you got into the real estate, what your goals are, and that you're looking for people to support you on this mission that you just shared, sub 30 second or 45 second video, share that on TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts, and now you've covered the full basis. So if you have any questions about this new agent announcement post, just drop a comment below and I'll make sure that we respond. Otherwise, I can't wait to see what you do within this crazy industry and I hope you succeed and build the business of your dreams.